we woke up at like 7 a.m to start moving we got the keys and i made everybody wait like 20 minutes downstairs in their cars while i filmed an empty apartment tour so by the time i finished that i was rushing downstairs to get to everybody and hope that nobody was mad at me and by the time we got back up here i forgot to film an intro so this is the move-in vlog cue the chaos <laughs> putting my mama to work. So there's actually gonna be a dog park over there. Yeah. Uh, once it's all built, there'll be like parking garages, I think over towards this way, but then that'll actually be a dog park, so. We unpacked the entire U-Haul and there's a lot of stuff in here. We still gotta get a few things out of her car and then my sister's bringing my car over in a little bit, but the couches are being delivered like in 10 minutes. I just got the text and their couch is gonna go right here. You wanna do a cartwheel in here? Yeah. Doesn't it make you wanna do a cartwheel? Yeah, and all, all the way. Murph does cartwheels. Does he? When he makes a birdie. <laughs> do you do cartwheels when, when you do a, get a birdie? Oh, when he makes funny. a birdie. I can do a birdie. <laughs> Mom, you want to do your cartwheel? Oh. Mom loves a little drunk cartwheel. Oh. <laughs> My bat made a noise. <laughs> it cracked. It was a good crack, though. I needed it. <laughs> She's making our ice cubes. And your ice rollers in there. Okay. Your bathrobe's on the back of your door. Okay. In the bathroom. This is the couch that my mom's been wanting yeah. for... Four years? Not four. Four, four? years? Yeah, about four years. And I got it. Because she hasn't gotten it yet. We can, we can have oh, the same I'm house. It. Oh, yeah. I'm getting it. Yeah, like you said, I might yeah, motivate you to get it. Right I got a Christmas tree oh, yeah. right here, a nice yeah. white cloth. A Christmas tree. Yeah, I need to get her off. <laughs> Now we'll make you guys you and Brody dinner. Stuff. What do you think about the apartment so far? Wait, look how this is in there. Wait. Oh, she has a vision. Yeah, I'm just saying. A vision. For now. <laughs> Hey guys, so my sister wore all my clothes today. Yes, I did. Don't tuck it like that, Alex. It's, it's not meant to be tucked like that. It's, a, it's an oversized hoodie. <laughs> yeah, check it out. Okay, yeah. The pants are from Garage. We got some fugs. She always wears fugs. These are real nice. <laughs> you almost want something. Girl. And then the Amazon hoodie. Make sure you get the one with no pocket. It's in style. Um, and this is it in green if you like green. Oh my god, you just went cross-eyed doing that. <laughs> Don't? Yeah. More close, closer or here? Closer. Right like there? Ready? I like it. Yeah. Look at this lighting. Because then... Uh, Taylor, get me. It will still be floating, but move it that way. I would move it that way. Look at all these types of... <laughs> I know. I have so many little like cups and... Oh, what's this? Oh, you're some salt and pepper shakers. Guys. Your salt and pepper shakers match your cute. Your Brody's fuzzy jacket. It's so cold. Yeah, it is cold in here. Yeah, it's like 64 in here. We're gonna put up this mirror right here. We ended up putting my little bench back there and then my dad's idea, actually. And then putting the plant and the lamp up. Kind of raised up because it's too short. It looks so good. Yeah, are you a little interior designer? You want these in one of your bathrooms? Yes! Which bathroom? Or should I wait and save it for summer because it's lemony? Just use it. Girl, just use shit and get it. Use it. Okay. Use it. Yeah, you're right. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. use it. I yes. won this um, at Kristen's baby shower yeah, because, or what, bridal shower because I drew yeah. her wedding dress. I guessed I it. <laughs> Remember, we gotta get your clothes figured out. I know. Look at this okay, room. I have my scissors somewhere wanna. that cannot stay here. No, makes me wanna drink. <laughs> my sister just went to go grab us all subs. I'm starving. What time is it? Do you know? I don't know. Brody, one? When are we going to start day drinking, Brody? 12.46. Oh, we can't start drinking. 12.46? Yeah, those fucking couches. You're probably like, those fucking couches. 12.46, and we haven't Brody, eaten anything. I've had a sip of a Celsius, though. <gasps> Yay, thanks, Sushi. I thought that was like a zipper. Who's busy in there? These are good. You're going to love. Oh. Hey. Uh -oh. She likes the camera, I think. 
what height do you think? Maybe, could you put that there? over? Maybe yeah, see. Uh, what do you think, that? Yeah, I think that's yeah, right. That yeah, that's right. Okay. Yep. Good. Yeah, that's perfect. And then we'll put this. That looks really good. I'm gonna start trying to make a dent on this room because there's a lot of crap in here. And I got my little muncher. First person to eat in the new bed. Woo! How does it feel? Nice. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Okay, it's about a week later now. It's Saturday. This past Saturday is when it was our move-in day. I've made a lot of progress in here. I wanna kinda show you guys what all the rooms are looking like right now, but there's still a lot of work to be done, a lot of furniture to be bought, a lot of little things to be bought, and I kinda want some advice on a couple different places too from you guys. I try to do my best with like interior design and all that kind of thing, but I'm such a simplistic, like minimalist person. Naturally, I always lean towards the like minimalism approach to decorating and I'm just not good at putting things together and I, I need some advice so make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because I'll definitely be like posting things and doing polls when I'm like at the store because I really do need some assistance <laughs> but I want to show you how freaking cute is my new keychain you guys how adorable is that i'm so obsessed with this i got this from an etsy shop this is from aurora evermore on etsy i'll link it down below how cute there's a cream one and a little pink one and it's just a little crocheted bow and i love it so much my grandma actually my mom's mom loves to crochet and she's always making lots of different things for me and everyone in my family and i can't wait to show her this because she's gonna think it's adorable also like I should get my grandma to start posting things on Etsy. Like she could totally sell her little cute things there. She's made me like the crochet or like not even the crochet, but like the quilted makeup bags and like all these different things. And she does such a good job, but I'm obsessed with this. I think it's so cute. My mom thinks it's a butterfly. Do you guys think it looks like a butterfly? I feel like it totally looks like a bow. Also, how huge did my hand look? I have like a wide frame lens on my camera, <laughs> but Anyways, let me show you guys what the rooms are looking like right now. Brody's showering, if you guys can hear the shower in the background right now, but this is what the kitchen looks like. I got two more bar stools for the counter. My dad was actually nice enough to order those for Brody and I, so thank you, dad. Um, but I don't know, like I wonder if you guys can tell which ones are the new ones because they are slightly different. But yeah, I just have this little like tray and I don't really know if that'll like stay there, but I think it's kind of cute with my candle on it, some glasses. Um, and then over here, there's like the bar cart, which I could definitely make look a little cuter in the future, but then my little circle mirror from Target. And yeah, that's really all. Actually, I went to Home Goods and I got this glass jar because I'm gonna make a little Valentine's Day candy bowl. I think I'll post that on TikTok. So excited. I have the worst sweet tooth, if you know me. Um, but I also got this really cute wooden, like, let me bring it down, tray, like serving tray, which I think will be so cute when like I'm hosting or really just like whenever I can bring this out and put stuff on it. So. I think it's so cute. I don't know the brand. It just says handcrafted in India. Yeah, I'm not sure, but I am obsessed with this. I felt like this was such a good find. It lives up there for now. <laughs> then I have some glasses drying, coffee maker over there. Then here's a look at the living room. We got the brand new couch that I'm loving. A little fireplace on the TV. I always throw up like the fireplace or like lo-fi ambiance things on the TV. We ended up putting a shelf under the TV and I think it looks so good. We also have a cord hider, which is essential. We're both really liking at the couch so far. I measured and I think I want an eight by eight rug out here. So I don't know what like color to do or 
pattern. I have no idea. I could really use some help. Also important, these curtains are not staying. They're kind of like a bluish tint. They're white curtains, but they're really pulling blue for some reason. And I want them to be more like creamy to match the couch. I don't want them to be like any sort of color or anything. They were just supposed to be plain white, but they're literally blue. And I just want them, I really want them to be more something like this. Like if I could get a similar sort of like texture, that would be cool. But we really want some blackout curtains here since we're in an apartment complex and the lights are on constantly outside. So we do need something to like block out the light. But yeah, that's this room. I'll show you the bedroom. Not much has been updated. This is my tripod. TV on the wall little cord hider and then you know just the mirror the bed nightstand i have all my aquatar books because i just finished the second one yesterday and now i'm on the third and i'm just it's got me in a chill cold right now so i put them there it's like the only color in this room right now let me show you my clothes situation and i really don't have enough space i mean i guess i have enough space everything is just like really packed in here and I don't mean to sound snobby at all when I'm like, oh, this closet is so small because obviously this is like a beautiful walk-in closet that's so nice. But for how much space is in this apartment, this is like a really big apartment in my opinion. I guess just bigger than anything I've ever thought that I would be in and just for the amount of space in this apartment. And I just feel like there's not that much closet space in the bedroom. Like this walk-in closet could have been maybe shaped differently or just like a little bit bigger you know what now that i think about it i do remember them saying that the other unit that we looked at that was the two bedroom one bath or no was it yeah it was the two bedroom one bath the closet was like a bit bigger but since we went with the two bedroom two bath this closet is a little bit smaller but they added in that closet in that corner so i don't know if it like evens out or if this uh, unit still has a little bit less closet space than the bed or the oh my god I don't even know what I'm saying anyways let me show you this closet basically I'm just trying to maximize space and it's pretty crazy in here so I had to get a little stepping stool because I'm putting all my like sweatshirts and things up there I'm gonna shut the door behind me because there's really no way to like show you everything but jeans are in here jeans are in these like bottom four cubbies and then all my other pants i'm gonna put on hangers down here i got all like my long sleeves some like short sleeve shirts sweatshirts more sweatshirts all sweaters going down sweatpants in those three cubbies over there some sweatshirts that before i just got this last night but those are some sweatshirts that i need to put up high but see it's just not convenient so i'm just like oh whatever bras undies socks t-shirts i believe in that bin oh leggings are in that bin these are things that i want to donate and then that's this closet let me show you this other one so this one has some more of my like tank top short sleeves because the other closet just has like a little bit of those in there that didn't fit in here i have like purses and bags up there bathing suits pajamas shorts skirts are all in here and i have a six cube white organizer similar to the one in the other closet that i need to put up that's over there i'll probably do that today i already know i'm gonna do a ton of reorganizing once i like get everything unpacked and like the six cube organizers up i'll probably like move some things around move different little cubby boxes around since i have the organizers in that closet the bigger one as well and i need to do a humongous closet clean out so that needs to happen at some point i really want to do that on my tiktok and my instagram like showing videos of me doing that i watch Watched Catherine June do that and it was like the most entertaining thing ever she tried on like every single piece of clothing and was like keep sell donate whatever and oh my god it was the most entertaining thing ever so go watch hers because I was living for those TikToks as she was making them and she did them kind of by like category like cleaning out all my leggings or cleaning out all my jeans or my going out tops oh my god and that I'm so excited to do because I have so many go little slutty going out tops from college that I just I need to get rid of I need to say goodbye to maybe give them to my younger sister who's still in college but I really want to do like a little closet clean out series on my Instagram and TikTok so that'll probably be happening in the next couple of weeks and then once I kind of get rid of a ton of stuff I know I'll do a lot of reorganizing after that as well so lots are going to be changing in regards to the closets but let me show you the bathroom it's not that exciting in here but I'll just show you what's kind of going on 
I need to get like some hooks or something for that. I'll like roll towels, kind of make this look cute. These are my new face cloths from Oak Essentials. Shower, shower's got all the stuff in it now. And then all my stuff up here. And then I did organize all my like toiletries and like makeup hair stuff. Brody literally uses like this tiny little dab kit and he's been liking to use the other bathroom. So that's why this kind of is just filled with all my things, but I'm sure he'll move all his things in here eventually. And you know, we have all this storage too. I put up my little clear skincare shelves. I love these. I love having everything out that I'm like trying and doing. I work with a lot of like skincare brands, I feel like, and I get a lot of skincare sent to me. So I like having this kind of like clear display of everything so as i'm like doing my night routine my morning routine if i'm feeling it i can like try out some new products and stuff that's the bathroom though not that exciting but then i want to show you guys oh i don't know all this is not that exciting but like these closets are getting a little bit more organized i need to organize the shoe closet this bathroom is basically empty and then in this room, this is kind of going to be like the office area. Such a mess. But I did go through and organize like all of these different bins. This is like tools, speakers, microphone, extension cords, random miscellaneous cords, desk stuff, craft stuff. You guys know how this goes. Like this is all the random crap that... I need to find places for so this room is gonna slowly but surely come together and i'm very excited for that day but i'm gonna kind of use this room as like like i said an office filming room i want to get a bunch of bookshelves that's really all for this room i'm excited for that to be all done it's gonna be so nice to have but that's pretty much everything just a little update for you guys it's been snowing constantly since we moved in last week and I want to build a snowman out there one day. We're going to need to get like a bucket and bring up snow. <laughs> but I think that would be fun. I think I'm going to put together that six cube organizer right now for that little closet in the bedroom. And Brody and I are having a Harry Potter marathon. So I think we're on Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince. So I think we're going to finish that up today and tonight. Maybe get some takeout. It's a nice, cozy, snowy Saturday in our apartment. And I'm just feeling very happy. And I just... I love it. together that cube organizer seriously I think I have I don't even know how many of those cube organizers I'm gonna have in this apartment once I finish getting everything organized because I want a few I want like two or maybe just one one like nine cube one or maybe I will do a six cube in the like hallway closet. I have like two of those organizers already in my closet, another one in the other closet. Brody's gonna get one for the closet that he's using in the like office bedroom. I'm having a hard time with that room because Brody's closet is in there. It's going to be the office, but it's a bedroom right now because there's just boxes and stuff in there. I don't know. I keep calling it all these different things and it's like bothering me, which is so silly. But I did all that. Brody's actually running out to go grab us some wings because we're just gonna have, we're gonna continue our little cozy Saturday watching our Harry Potter marathon and just eat some wings. So while he's doing that, I just did a little bit of like chores. I unloaded the dishwasher, restocked our ice, and now I'm just gonna edit a little bit of this video. I have a lot I need to do tomorrow regarding like YouTube work stuff, so I might do a little bit of that tonight too while we um, just hang out and watch Harry Potter. I'm gonna take this part out if you can't hear it, but do you guys hear that sound? You know what, I'm just gonna bring you close up. There's this vent over here, and do you hear this sound? 
It's constant, but that sound is bothering me so much. I mean, I'm kind of starting to tune it out, but the first night that we were here, we had to sleep on the couch because our bed is a bed in the box and you had to let it sit out for like 48 hours without sleeping on it or laying on it. So we slept on the couch, thankfully, because we had that, but I couldn't sleep that night. I was up till like 3.30. I was editing like this video and my empty apartment tour and I was just excited and I had so much in my head of like, what I needed to do and unpack and I had to go to work on Monday which also I'm gonna need to update you guys kind of on my like work situation but I plan on doing like a full sit down kind of chatty video just to kind of update you guys and get you guys on the same page with like my life and stuff my mind is like running a mile a minute let me finish my one train of thought and then I'll get back to that but we ended up sleeping on the couch and I was up so late I couldn't sleep and then this sound just kept going and going and going and I was like are you kidding me and we didn't have curtains and that bright light was was shining in and I was just like oh my god I have no idea what that is though I doubt anybody else knows but if you do let me know I don't want to call maintenance Brody already tried to like tighten the screws on the vent it's not that I have no idea what it is it's super annoying though but as I was saying I want to do like a sit down chatty video update you guys on like my work situation kind of like where my life's at right now um and really like kind of get detailed with you guys it's hard because there's obviously areas of my life that I want to keep private or more private than others. But then there's other areas of my life that like I do want to be transparent with you guys about because lately the people that I watch on YouTube like they're transparent. They're like chatty and they're talking about details of their life and relationships in their life and you know maybe not like the negatives of course but like just kind of being more detailed and like more of like a best friend vibe and that's how like I already feel with you guys but I know as a viewer like I'm also a YouTube watcher and fan of a lot of people and I like knowing like what they're up to what they're feeling like what their day looks like who their days with like just kind of details like that and I really want to be more open with you guys because that is what I like to watch. And so I think we just need to do a big chatty video and kind of get like caught up and all of that good stuff. So I've said it a few times in this video already, but that's just because I love to post on my Instagram story and like chat with you guys in my DMs. And then when I ask you guys for like advice on polls and questions and things, you guys are able to answer, but make sure you're following me on Instagram so that I will post a like story asking you guys what kind of questions or like life update things that you guys want to hear from me and i'll make sure i like cover everything in that video brody should be coming back soon i'm very hungry i need to do a huge target run this weekend and honestly there are very few things better than the first target run after a move-in it's like an excuse to just go a little crazy so i'm pumped that will be in the second moving vlog coming next week Anyways, I hope that you guys are having an amazing week so far. I love you. I'm so excited about my new apartment and I'm just feeling really inspired. If you guys made it to the end of this video, comment this emoji so I know that you're a real one. I will see you in my next video. Bye.